Hello YouTube users. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to animate your character. We will be making our character run, jump, and even do a standing animation like he's doing now. First of all, you are gonna have to watch Flash CS4, CS5 platform game tutorial part 1 and part 2 to know what's going on. I made just a few changes from the original platform game tutorials where we use a circle as our character. I made a player speed variable which is a number and I set it to 7. Remember that this can be anything you want. We're just gonna use it to make our character move left and right. I also added a comment right here to show where the presser key function is. And I collapsed the presser key function because we aren't going to be changing it. If you don't know how to collapse lines of code, I'll show you. Simply highlight your lines of code that you want to collapse, like this. And bring your mouse over this icon here and click on it. I also collapsed the release a key function. And now since we're not using a circle anymore, I decided to change the move the circle function to move the player. So you can change that if you want. Also I changed the name of the object we're controlling from circle underscore mc to player underscore mc. I'm going to show you a trick to change all the places where it says circle underscore mc to play underscore mc. Press this icon right here that looks like a magnifying glass. Or use the keyboard shortcut control f to open up the find dialog box. Now let's put circle underscore mc here. And player underscore mc here. Make sure you use the match case and press replace all. Now we need to change the instance name of our object if you haven't already. So close the actions panel and click on the circle or box or whatever you made it and go up to the properties panel and change circle underscore mc to player underscore mc. I'll go back to this file over here and delete this movie clip from my library because I'm going to show you how to make it. Now first off, I have some animations of a simple character here in my library. I like to be organized so I have a folder called character. And inside that I have a folder called animations, which has three movie clips, jumping, running, and standing. If you want to learn how exactly I made these animations, check out the video tutorial in the link. Let's take a quick look at the movie clips. In the standing animation, I simply have a character standing at a normal height, then bends down a little, then stands back up again. So it's gonna loop through that animation. In the running animation, I have him doing one complete step of each foot and his arms move back and forth. And in the jumping animation, all he does is lift his arms and legs up in 5 frames.
Once you have your animation set up, you need to make a movie clip to contain all these animations. So let's make a new movie clip and call it Player, or whatever it is you want to call it. First, let's drag our standing animation into the Player movie clip. Now right click on the second frame and click Insert Blank Keyframe, or press the keyboard shortcut. F7. Drag the running animation. Make another keyframe and add the jumping animation. Now let's align them. Make sure you align the feet of the animations to the center of the movie clip. Now let's add our newly made character to the stage and call him player underscore MC. If you test the movie now, you should have the same functionality as before, but as you can see, our character is swapping through the animations like any other movie clip would. We need a way to control the frames our character goes to depending on the keys we press, and in some cases, the keys we don't press. So let's go to our Actions layer and open up the Actions panel by going to Window Actions, or press F9 on the keyboard. Scroll down to the Move the Player function, and in the condition for Right Key is DOM, we're gonna type player underscore mc dot go to and stop two. This means that when we press the right arrow key, then our character will go to frame two in his timeline. Remember, the walking animation is on frame two. Now we're gonna do the same for the left key. So in the condition for left key is down type player underscore mc dot go to and stop two now in the up key is down condition type player underscore mc dot go to and stop three So let's test the movie and see what happens. Press Ctrl and Enter. Notice how he starts off the same way, looping through frames. But when I press the right or the left key, he starts running. And when I press the up key, he does the jumping animation. However, when I let go, he stays on his last animation. That's because we never told him to go back to the standing animation if we're not pressing the keys. Let's go back to the actions panel and beneath the up key is down and can jump condition. Let's make a new condition. So type if open and close brackets and in the brackets type exclamation mark right key is down and exclamation mark left key is down and exclamation mark up key is down the exclamation mark means not so this is saying if right key is not down and left key is not down and up key is not down So let's put our open and close curly brackets and in this type player underscore mc dot go to and stop one. Let's test the movie. Now when I press the right or the left key, he runs and when I let go, 
he stands. When I press the up key, he jumps. But notice that there are a few glitches. If you press the up key and the right key or the left key, he does the running animation even when he's jumping. And when he is off the ground and you're not holding the up key, he does the standing animation. If you want to know how to fix these problems, then continue into the tutorial, but you can stop here if you want to.